The idea here um, was for me to go into a travel agent and ask for a ticket to New York while dressed in a white gown, which was actually a hospital gown. That's my cats in the background. The gown was a hospital gown uh, and dressed in a Bin Laden mask. Now on paper, this was supposed to get a good reaction in itself, but in reality, the staff tried processing it as a genuine order. Um, so realizing the silence, I proceeded to go absolute madness, just wildly making raucous noises and doing silly dancing, um, even behind the counter, as you'll see. It was hellish for one woman um, in the background, in the little booth, because uh, she was crying with laughter while trying to speak to a customer on the phone. Um, my actions weren't planned. Um, in fact, I hadn't actually I hadn't actually thought about what else was going to happen at all once I'd asked the initial question. Um, but it turned into the one of, one of the most classic segments ever uh, for me, uh, perhaps because the staff took it as a joke and no serious trouble was caused. Um, when I flipped onto the hard floor, my mask came off, which was gutting to me, um, so they knew who I was. So later on, I went back into the shop afterwards to thank the staff for being okay with it and to explain that they needn't process the order. Uh, we did lots of other stuff that day. We did the impromptu Chinese takeaway bit, which you can see in webisode 16. We also tried the old people's home again, but they were having none of it. Um, and it was the day of narcolepsy where we had seven sets of police and security chasing us. Um, we tried doing narcolepsy in a fancy dress shop and were slightly nervous due to the owner's savage dog that was in there. Um, I said to the owner that I needed a costume for a fancy dress party that evening. She was very dull and monotone and uh, let me put on a bare full head mask. I fell over to absolutely zero reaction. So trying to salvage the wasted time, I growled and pretended to be a bear in the worst thing ever filmed. Uh, Moff actually com campaigned for this tape to be destroyed because it was so atrocious and, and embarrassing. Um, the footage does remain to this day in the archives, but it's rarely, you know, played back or anything. Although it is so bad, it might be worth showing, actually. So maybe that'll be coming out. My idea here was to publicise Laugh or Cry TV by creating a worldwide uproar with the Bin Laden video. I thought the outrageousness of it might get written about, um, but as shown in the webisode itself, shit all people cared. Um, I especially thought that the land of hope and glory, a.k.a. Uncle Sam's effing backyard, would particularly care... But it wasn't the case. Um, I contacted and complained to literally hundreds of news channels, websites, radio stations, newspapers, worldwide, uh, from nearly every country on the face of our non-existent God's green earth. Uh, phoning the media here, like this, for instance, was filmed with a pocket HD camera. It's convenient, but it's got lower quality audio than my normal camera, which led to problems putting it all together as one show, as, uh, you know as was webisode 26 also problematic because of the different aspect ratios. Um, I did a run of sudden filming sprees actually with this pocket camera which I alluded to in the webisode 26 commentary which resulted in me filming lots of dangerous stuff that nearly killed me and it all got out of hand as will be explained on my planned documentary about the whole story of Laugh or Cry TV. I can actually believe that nearly half a year has gone since the end of season one. I stopped season one at 25 webisodes for two reasons. Firstly, I thought that half a year on, half a year off was a format I could keep up for much longer rather than just banging out new episodes every week indefinitely, which would have had to have stopped at some point. With this new format, the shows film themselves because in the six month break between seasons, I've naturally built up enough footage so it's a much better system. Uh, secondly, I was knackered. I try to edit it as well as I can, and it takes days to edit one 10-minute episode, webisode, um, let alone film it. Um, the workload's actually been non-stop for about three months now. It, it is always ongoing, but I'm talking about doing it every waking second for three months. Um, for example, my to-do list has thousands of things on it. So one thing, for instance, could be to make a new demo DVD. That took three solid days to do. Okay, and that's just one line of things on my to-do list. Just make a new demo DVD. Three solid days to do. Then another solid three to distribute. Um, and the beginning of season two will add to the madness. It's still fun, though. Um, here, the, this is, though there have been lots of personal milestones for me while making Laugh or Cry TV, getting this reply from WSPA regarding this anti-bullfighting video I made was the best feeling one, actually. Hi, Ed Surname with a smiley face there, denoting that she got the comedy behind having surname as a surname. Just wanted to say thanks for your video response, love it, and thanks for putting our anti-bullfight in action on your laughwillcrytv.com homepage. Very decent of you, sir. Nice to have a different take on animal welfare. Thought your film was fun. 
even if your cat couldn't appreciate that you were trying to help it. Yeah. Um, actually, one thing led to another, and as I speak, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but the video is going to be passed on to Ricky Gervais, who filmed a video for their petition as well for WSPA. So that's going to—I'd love for him to see it. Actually, um, I didn't make it for that or anything. I hate bullfighting; it just makes me want to cry. I don't understand it. Um, that's why I made it. But it was nice to get the reply. I actually have a screenshot of the WSPA video page, which shows where they have liked my video, like they've ticked like on it. Um, a very proud moment for me, actually. Um, so I'm not sure if this petition is going to be out of date by the time you see it, but I wanted to put it on in a webisode because it was important to me. This cat just moans all the time. It's just what she's like. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.